Well, if you think that the creepy factor stops there, no. The Eye of Sauron has much bigger plans for the spy grid that's going to be set up all over America. Joining me in the studio is Anthony Gucciardi, who broke these Snowden-level documents today at Infowars.com. They expose just how massive this Homeland Security spy grid is going to be. All right, well, Anthony, we just heard from Paul about the white boxes that are going up in Seattle, but the documents that you have leaked show that it's actually much deeper than that. Exactly. So what Paul's talking about is these spy boxes in Seattle, and they're collecting, or the mainstream media said they may be collecting, your IP address for your cell phone, your MAC address, your information, the last 1,000 locations you've been at through GPS locations. And that's what the media was saying that may be happening. That's what Paul was talking about. These documents that we've found now from Seattle, we've published them on a, PV, on a PDF, on StoryLeak.com, on InfoWars.com, Prison Planet, and we've found now that not only are they admitting, yes, it tracks your IP address, it tracks your location, your th past 1,000 locations, <laughs> but it can track anything about you from your cell phone, including traffic data, and it's also live streaming at all times to police and fusion data centers in Seattle, and this is being implemented nationwide. Now, what's more than that is we've now found in the video of Paul's original report, the police said, yeah, this is potentially going to happen, but we need legal authorization to do so. It turns out that the report has been going on in this uh, report we found with the government documents. It's been going on since February of 2012 even a little bit earlier than that, and it's scheduled to end in 2020. So this has been going on for about a year, and it's still going to go on until 2020 unless we do something about it. But they're saying, oh, it might it might happen, it might not. You know, secretly it's, it's been going on the whole time, tracking everything you do. Right, so basically the is the NSA data center already set up in Utah in 2012, where they said, oh, we're going to do that maybe in 2013. Yeah, and also it says there's a massive sense of urgency and that they need to do it right away. $2.6 million of taxpayer money from the DHS to set this up. And you notice they always say, yeah, we're going to do it in the future, but then it already happens to acclimate you towards it. But the reason they're doing it so soon as saying we need to get this in right away now is because they know that we're so keen to this. Things like, you know, people like Snowden leaking the information about the NSA, they're losing the battle. And if they don't get this in right away and hardwired in to the fusion centers, the police headquarters, they're not going to be able to do it. So they're actually afraid of us, and that's why they're spying on us. As an aside, the DHS in Seattle had cameras at the port positioned off to the shore to see and monitor terrorists. Mm -hmm. But then they were caught turning the cameras into private homes, watching private citizens. And they complained and made a big fuss about it in Seattle, so they were forced to turn the cameras back around. This is a wow. war on us. This is a citizen tracking system designed to keep us on the grid 24-7. Even having a cell phone now, they're leaching all the data about it. They're leaching everything you do off your cell phone. And it said specifically there's filters involved where, yeah, they're tracking automatically across the board, the IP addresses in the past 1,000 locations. But there's filters. Let's say, for example, you're suspected of a crime. Well, that filter may be lifted. Or if the DHS determines that, you know, you're in a constitution-free zone, which was 100 miles from the border now, you don't have a constitution. So they can just turn off those filters and take anything from your cell phone, all your call history, everything. And they already have it, but wow. this is a whole new level. You have, you know, citywide, statewide, federal, all these spying systems all in one, amassing these huge databases and just profiling everyone, stealing all of their information. Wow, so this goes much deeper than what Edward Snowden told us with like, the prison program that was just collecting metadata. This is actual content and so much more than that. Yeah, exactly. Well, the, you know, the NSA is kind of the, the juggernaut of all of this. But what we're finding now with these documents and why they're so important and why the media needs to cover this to even become relevant somewhat anymore is because this isn't just NSA. This is a citywide, a statewide initiative to spy on citizens in addition to the federal spying with a conglomerate of uh, agencies like the DHS coming in and doing it. So this is like you're being spied on on so many levels that they're taking a little bit of metadata here, a little bit of personal data here, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. And it's not about metadata. They're taking your personal data anyway, but they're just amassing it in these huge compartments of databases that it's coming from so many different angles. They have everything on you. You are the enemy. Wow. That's and, what people need to understand. And so Seattle is, is just kind of the, there's the start of the rollout of the mesh network, but you're, it's going to other cities as well. And 
nationwide well, soon. <laughs> well, this is the only one with documents that we found where it actually says, yeah, we're doing all this. You know, mm -hmm. it's going to happen until 2020, happened in 2012. I believe this isn't even that sophisticated. I believe places like New York City and Philadelphia are light years ahead of this. The systems they have in Las Vegas now, smart trash cans, they take similar data. You know, systems we've seen in Europe where they had to stop them. This is all going around nationwide, worldwide. This is just the beginning. We finally have the documents showing it. So what does your gut tell you? Why do you think the American people are the enemy? Why are they setting up this huge spy grid? The reality is they're desperately afraid of us. We are winning. Ultimately, information-wise, we're winning just waking people up, but altogether, we're also winning legislatively in many ways. You know, Obamacare, major defeat, NDAA, major defeat, but at the same time, so many people are against those things. So many people are now taking legislative action through impeachment and other things like that. They can't bottle it up forever. I understand they're, you know, overlords just attacking us, attacking us, attacking us. But after a certain period of time, we're now at this, this cusp of awakening to the point where we're going to punch back. The right. sleeping giant is being awoken. And that's why they're so desperately afraid. And that's why they're saying in these documents, it's urgent that we get these systems in place. Because who knows? They're expecting riots. Hmm. They're expecting people to go into the streets and just absolutely freak out out and they need to have complete tracking and complete control of the system that's why they don't just have city tracking they don't have just have state tracking they don't just have federal tracking they have layers upon layers upon layers even private businesses are tracking now and selling the information to the government they cannot have us have our independence or freedom or they would lose they're afraid of us this is not them having more power than us they are backed into a wall like a small critter just attacking nothing because they know <laughs> they're going to lose the battle they're going to die well, I guess that's some good news in all of this. Is yeah, that it is. they are afraid of awakening the sleeping giant. It's a rallying cry to defeat this, is what it is. Every time we get attacked more, it's just building up our immunity. You know, the bacteria comes into our body and our immune system just crushes it. And that's how we build up defense against pathogens. And that next time, when a pathogen comes into contact, we just obliterate it. That's what happens. Well, that's what we're going to do here with InfoWars obliterate. The massive spy grid. Thank exactly. you, Anthony. Thank you. All right. Well, coming up, you have heard about Fukushima. But what about the leaking nuclear reactors that we have right here in the United States? And then find out if our nuclear power plants are at risk of a malware attack. We're on the march, the empire's on the run, and the InfoWars army is standing strong. Wake up your family, friends, and neighbors and break the matrix at InfoWarsStore.com. Learn the truth and spread the message of liberty with the world's most comprehensive collection of books and documentary films. Maintain a healthy metabolism and energize your body to perform at peak health with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Protect your family and be prepared with survival foods and emergency preparedness kits. And now you can drink safe water with your own ProPure water filtration system, which removes fluoride and other harmful chemicals from your family's water supply. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. So join the revolution, InfoWarsStore.com. Many anthropologists and archaeologists believe that before man even discovered uh, the power to harness and use fire, we were involved in agrarian activities. That is, taking the seeds of plants and then replanting them to produce more. The very foundation of our modern civilization and human culture is centered around the planting and cultivation of edible plants. Here are some of the amazing deals at InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. The Survival Seed Vault by My Patriot Supply features only the finest survival heirloom seeds for a robust and hardy garden, even in the toughest times. We also have starter varieties of the deluxe seed packages for fruit, salad, salsa, peppers, medical herbs, and more. Go to the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing. 